thank you for coming here tonight. Uh, at the beginning of this new year, um, I'd like to thank uh, last year's committee for doing a great job, and they worked very, very hard last year. And they've also done a very good job for training uh, the people you see in front here. They are our new committee. So on behalf of the English Language Centre, let me just say welcome to you all. And uh, I'm sure your uh, uh, last year's committee have some thing to say to you, so may I just invite um, Amy from last year's committee to say a few words to you. Amy? Good evening everyone. The PIPS has been doing a great job in promoting English with films in this previous year. Thus, in this semester, the PIPS will continue its objectives and transitions. We will continue to pre pre present excellent movies from all over the world to poly youth students and staff. Now, I shall pass on to Grace to introduce the rest of our new committees of 2007. Grace. And thank you very much for the support from the advisory board. So right now, I would like to know. I would like to say that to achieve the mission here, we are not working as an individual, we're working as a team. So let us meet our united and strong team together. So yes, get us that, please. Meet our com new committee here. as the Vice President here, with Andrew as the Promotional Team, we have, Pe uh, we have uh, Lane in the IT, we have Terence in the Arts and Design, we have uh, Kit in the Promotional Team, we have Jenny as, uh, in the Secretary, and uh, Peggy in the uh, Promotional Team, and of course we have uh, Ding Ding, which has got Tracy and right. So Tracy is in the uh, Event and Library, and of course, and last but not least, is uh, uh, Jean in the IT team, and I myself as the uh, president of the new committee here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please be seated. Please be seated. Yes. Today we have uh, the honour to invite uh, Mr. Leung Kwa Kong as the honourable guest, guest speaker here to introduce our movie, The Motorcycle Diary. And Mr. Leung is our very famous, renowned big fan of Jack Vary. So Mr. Leung, please, have your speech. First of all, I have to apologize for my late coming. Uh, when I was in the taxi, I think, well, if I if I can't afford to have a motorbike like a Che Guevara, and then I would not be late. Though. Um, I think uh, I need to remind you, uh, the film was based on the diary of uh, Che Guevara. But... Uh, I need to tell you the truth. He didn't take it very serious. It was uh, published up until 10 years ago, which is the 30th anniversary of his, of his death. So I think uh, for Che Guevara, the romance of his uh, young days are not very important for him. After the uh, motorcycle trip, actually he changed. He changed himself into another person, not uh, the young Che Guevara. He decided to go on and travel through uh, South America in order to see more and also to achieve his goal. What is his goal? To fight the independence to fight the justice for all the South Americans in the continent. He was, he is, he will be 
I told you how to take um, And I learned about that. The film director of the movie refused to become the director of the next film about Che Guevara, which is about his revolutionary activity, his uh, Guevara warfare in Cuba. Why? Because the film director doesn't agree the polit political point of view of Che Guevara. I don't think Che Guevara will become uh, an idol for the majority of the society. In fact, we are still living in a society that only a few percent of the population owns almost over 90% of the wealth of the society. Che Guevara was a figure to do the justice for the underdogs. Not just in his motherland, and not just in Cuba, and not just in Bolivia. His dream, his dream is to confront the capital monopolization in terms of U.S. intervention over the world. That's why after the motorcycle trip, he decided to go to Cuba. He decided to go to Congo after the triumph of Cuba revolution. And that's why after the defeat in Congo, he carried on and go to and went to Bolivia. And then as we know, he sacrificed his life. After fourteen years, let's see what happened in South America. After that case of defeat of the revolutionary movement, we can see there's a revi revival of the left wing politics in South America. It's very, very sarcastic to George Bush. He sent the young people of the US to go to Middle East and sacrifice their life their lives for the oil company, for the manipulation of the US capital in the Middle East. But still then, he cannot stop the revival of the people's struggles in South America. I was so glad to see that. I think in the eve of the 40th anniversary of the death of Che Guevara. For you guys, if you watch this film, I hope you can get some inspiration from the romance of a middle class youth who travel through South America for a brighter future, for a Farewell. So, I need to decline now. I think it's better for you to see the movie instead of uh, listening to my preaching, though. So, thank you very much. Have a nice evening. Mr. Lan, thank you very much. And please stay on the stage. And Mr. Lan, Mr. Lan, we have a little gift to uh, express our gratitude to your support here tonight. And uh, within a few seconds, we're going to show a movie, so uh, please be ready and enjoy. <laughs>